Hello, yes, it's me, Holly, back with another instant match review because Tottenham have just beaten Man United at Old Trafford 3 0. If you're new to the channel, please like, share, comment, and subscribe so you never miss a video. Wow, people, what a game. Uh, obviously, the starting lineup came out and we saw that uh, Werner was starting instead of Sonny as he didn't travel. I'm not going to lie to you, obviously, as we all know, not everybody's favourite person, um, but I was willing to see what he could do. And I'm not going to lie to you. Didn't really have the best of the games, had two goal opportunities, but didn't get the back of the net. But it doesn't matter because Spurs still managed to get up the goods and win the game 3 0. Uh, it started very well. I thought we were very lively on the ball, um, which was nice to see, especially going to Old Trafford. We had to start soon, we had to start quick, and starting quick, we did. Obviously, the first goal, my word, that man, Daddy Longlegs, Mickey van der Ven, it's just bloody something else, manages to pick the ball up. I think it was like 75 yards the man manages to run and still pick out a perfect cross to that man at the back, Brennan Johnson. Honestly, four goals in four games. I actually love the fact that obviously he got loads of stick. We all know he got stick. But the fact that he's shushing them all with scoring goals, um, I just want him to keep it up. But for me, as much as I love Mickey van der Ven, and I think he was given man of the match, I would give man of the match to Brennan Johnson uh, because he's just been excellent he really has and um, for me as well obviously we then managed to score the second as well through Deke it was a lovely bit of skill I think again Johnson gets the assist I might have been wrong because at this point I was just screaming all over the place but it was a lovely little flick for Kuliseski to find the back of the net obviously there was a bit of controversy with a sending off um Many argue it was probably a bit harsh. Um, the only reason I can kind of see why it was given and why VAR didn't overrule it was the fact that Bruno Fernandes was slipping. Why then try and stick a leg out? Um, and obviously in that case, you're not in control. Um, but with a, with a top game, you can never have a little bit of controversy. But hey, we've been on the end of those ones. Normally it's us that get done with it, but they go down to 10 men. Um, and then, yes, things start clicking. Obviously, there was a bit of period in the game where I was kind of thinking, Jesus Christ, they're going to get back into it. I think the, the one closest chance they probably got was the, I think it was got an actual effort where he um, was back post, kind of left alone and volleyed it. Um, but by that, they were so bad. Um, they were giving sloppy passes away, but we were on it and we managed to obviously intercept the ball every now and again. But that's probably, I know United are bad and I know United fans say they are terrible at the minute, but my words... They are very, very poor. Um, and it was also nice to obviously see Solanke got in the end uh, of another goal this week. Again, it was another little bit of a toe tapper in, but you've got to be right place, right time. And we need a striker that's going to be right place, right time. So I don't care how he's scoring, as long as he's scoring. Um, and it was great to see Berval come on. It was a bold decision to also bring Mikey Moore on, as well as Berval and Saar. I didn't know whether that would be a little bit too much, um, but it worked really well. And obviously, Mikey Moore nearly bloody scored uh, near at the end. So I'm very excited to see how he carries on. Um, but Berval obviously managed to get the pre-assist from the corner which hits Sar's head and then Dom Solanke here but you know what all in all very very happy um we needed those three points I think Gary Neville put it properly uh, sorry not properly put it better in a way that he said if Ange had lost this game um we'd all be calling out for his heads again as per but it's not on his head so we need to credit where Tottenham were. I think we were excellent today um I can't wait to take that into Thursday and then obviously take that into next week's game against Brighton but Holly Sotspur's live. It's back tomorrow. We've got some star-studded lineup again uh, on the guest panel. And obviously, we'll be doing a giveaway as well. So make sure you tune in for that one. And until next time, come on, you Spurs.